Native Instruments just blessed its machine users with a new synth. What's up guys, Barry here, and if it's your first time on the channel, we talk about beat making and music production on the machine. So if that's your thing, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. With that said, in today's video, we're going to take a look at Native Instruments' new instrument plugin for a machine, Polysynth. Polysynth is a vintage 16 voice synth styled on an 80s classic and is designed specifically for full control with machine hardware. And according to the update notes, Polysynth is based on Native Instruments Pro 53. And furthermore, Pro 53 is modeled after Sequential Circuits Profit 5. While going through the YouTube comments of Native Instruments Polysynth video, I saw two common questions. The first common question I saw was how and where do I find the presets? So on the Native Instrument website, it says that Polysynth can be found in the browser under the Instrument tab. So opening up Machine's browser, we'll head over to the Instrument tab. From there, you'll alphabetically find Bass Synth, Drum Synth, and Polysynth. Clicking on Polysynth under the Instrument tab will only reveal the initial Polysynth preset. To access the presets, you'll have to go to the All Sounds tab. You can either access them from this filtered page, or if you find yourself in the Collection page, you'll just have to select the Machine Collection. From there, all you have to do is click on Polysynth to access the 250 presets that the instrument launched with. And the reason you'll find them in the All Sounds tab is because the presets have audio effects accompanying the Polysynth instrument. From what I've seen, the majority of them have beat delay and metaverb included, despite the mix turned to zero. The second most common question I saw was how do I save my own presets? So before we save a preset, we have to make a preset. So let's start with the one that we have loaded and make it our own. All right, cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the modulation page. We'll change the mode from unison to poly to play some chords. And let's have some fun with the LFO. So we'll change it from free to synced. We'll change the rate to 1 8th and we'll engage the voice trigger. And to give it a little bit more character, let's head over to the main page and bring up the noise in the mix. All right, cool. So let's exit our mixer and let's add a couple more audio effects. So let's just add on maybe a phaser to add some more movement and we'll add a compressor to tighten it up a bit. But really I'm just adding these effects for the sake of the example. And now that we have our preset, let's go ahead and save it. So to save your instrument and your audio effects, you're gonna right click your sound. So for here, we're gonna right click sound one, we're gonna hit save as, and we're gonna save it as Barry Guitar LFO. And to recall that preset, we're gonna remain in the all sounds tab in our browser and hit the user icon. And from there, you'll be able to see Barry Guitar LFO, and we can load that on sound number two. So let's say you wanna save the preset without the audio effects. So instead of right clicking the sound section, you're gonna right click the instrument itself. So right click Polysynth on the bottom, you'll see save as. And again, we're gonna save this as Barry's Guitar LFO. And this time, instead of it going to the all sounds directory, you'll find it in the all instruments directory as you're saving it as an instrument instead of a sound. If you're looking for a more detailed video on how to create presets and templates within Machine, I've left a video link down in the description. With that said, let's make our first beat using Polysynth. Thank you. 
right guys, so that was my first beat attempt using Native Instruments new polysynth for machine. The beat, it gives me a little bit of an old school Nintendo vibe. With that said, I am really excited to use Polysynth a little bit more on Machine Plus on a standalone side as I do believe is a great alternative for using Massive. With that said, down in the comments, let me know your thoughts on Polysynth. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already and happy beat making. Peace.